What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Chandler's Wildlife. As you can see, this is not the usual snake room. That's because I got a new room. I'm sharing it with a buddy of mine named Will. He keeps venomous reptiles as well. He's licensed. And this is the new snake room. Here I have more space. Lots of space to work with Big King because obviously Kevin's got to come along. So if you look around, we're going to give you a quick tour of the new snake room. So let's start off right over here. We have the rhino viper, my beautiful little rhino. I have the pygmy rattlesnake. And right down we have puff adders right here. These are Will's puff adders. They're beautiful neonates. They're eh, going on a year old. And if you look at them, their pattern's a lot different from mine. They have a beautiful uh, contrast of black and almost like a neon beige. And if we look over here, these are my puff adders. Look how beautiful they are in that lighting. Beautiful pink. Uh, lots of space in this exhibit versus the last one. If we look over here, see how active they are? And mine are just chilling. It's probably because they're babies. They just want to explore everything. My guys are like, eh, we've seen it all. If we look over here, this is the wall of vision cages. It's beautiful. It's like a big zoo exhibit. Gotta clean the glass. We're moving all the cages around today, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. That's why everything's a little uh, mucked up on the glass. But if we look, Kevin's right here. Kevin the King Cobra. He, uh, we had to clean his cage. If we look over here, Check this out, a beautiful Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. This belongs to Will. The really cool thing about Will's collection is it's mostly rattlesnakes and they're all big, bad, awesome rattlesnakes like these guys. Look, Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes. They're both females. He's looking to get a male and breed them, so that's gonna be really cool because rattlesnakes give live birth. They're ovovivivorous. Now, if you look over here, he's got a bigger female. Ooh, she could spit out or uh, give birth to about 35, maybe even 40 babies. She's so large. If we come up here, this guy's really cool. This is a Burmese python that Will raised from a little baby, little tiny baby. He found it in the Everglades, and since he's licensed to keep Burmese pythons, he brought it back and he raised it up instead of killing it. So this cool Burmese python is nice and tame. He uses them for educational shows, so you're gonna see more of him. If we look over here, we have the Egyptian Cobras from my collection. If you look right here, we have Mick, the yellow anaconda. He's just chilling under that lip of the cage, hanging out. We still have to install all the lights, so if you see all these dark cages, we're gonna get some nice lights, put them on the inside, it's all gonna be lit up. We just put this all together today. So if we look right here, my beautiful Kaboom Viper, little pinky. Oh, she's such a cutie. Here we have an empty cage. We're probably gonna get another snake in here. Down here, we have a timber rattlesnake. Beautiful rattlesnake, highly toxic. There are some uh, stories about guys getting bit in the mountains up north in the you know, Carolina area or Alabama. They get bit and they know the bite's so bad they sit on their porch, drink whiskey, and wait for the venom to kick in. Anyways, if you look right here, we have an empty cage. Nothing's in it, gotta get some glass for it. And we have another cage right here we have to get glass for. So lots of new space to work with. Lots of cool snakes that we can get, bring it in here and use them for education. And then look over here, we have our arboreal section. This is so cool. These are all variable bush vipers. If you look, there's my pair right in there, my little babies. And then if you look over here, this is one of Will's. This guy is like a dark red. He's going through shed. He's beautiful. Look at that snake. Much larger, you can see. Uh, he's just about an adult, whereas mine, they're just getting on to a teenage hood. And then if we look over here, he's got another one hiding up in the branches. Where is he at? Uh, you see him? Yes. There we go. Beautiful. And then if you come down here, this is the Waggler's Viper. Look how much space he has. Well, look how beautiful he is. He's got a nice open area, nice water dish. And then if we look down here, Will has this pygmy rattlesnake. Will also has a pygmy. I don't know where he's hiding. Must be under the debris. But if you look right here, the boas, the baby boas, guys. Look. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Since their last meal, they've gone a little bit bigger. Look how beautiful these snakes are. Don't bite me. Look at that beautiful baby boas. We're going to have to feed them today. So let me put them down. Let me leave this cage out because we're going to get onto that soon. Awesome. And then this. Oh, this is a very big exoterra. 
and Will had a very good idea of what we should put in it. We're going to make an arboreal setup since it's tall, lots of leaves, make it like a forest. But, oof. <coughs> Mamas! <coughs> Green Mama! You guys will see soon. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, as you can see, Kevin, if you get a good look at his enclosure, he has pulled a Picasso, he's painted the whole place, if you want to come close and check it out, he smeared his poop here, he smeared his poop over there, over there, everywhere basically. And remember guys, the whole point of this lockbox is so he goes into it as a hide to get into the dark and, you know, get away from me. Uh, so it's safer when he goes in there, I can lock it up, take out the box and clean the cage. Well the problem is, uh, one, I didn't put newspaper in the box, so if he poops in there, it's going to ruin my box. And two, he's not using the box because the opening's right here and he kind of pushed it towards, so it's kind of hard for him to get in there, so I'm going to have to flip it around, bring it over here, then I'm going to have to take the king out and put him in this garbage can right here and secure it, put newspaper in the box, and then I'll put him back in the cage so you guys get to see Kevin once more. So let's see what kind of temperament he's in. The reason he's pooping so much is because he actually ate an eight foot and one inch long Burmese python. He ate it whole and he loved it. So uh, he digested it and well, he painted the place. So let's go real slow. Like I've said in the other videos, King Cobra's focus on movement. So the more I move, the more dangerous it's gonna be. So what I'm doing right now is I'm moving this box out of the way. Here he comes, here he comes. So I'm moving this box over here. I'm going to use this hook because I don't want to reach inside and grab. Ooh, it's a little bit cantankerous. There. There we go. What's up, big boy? You are just making a mess. Give me that lid. Good stuff. Okay. Now, let's put some newspaper in the box. I should have done this the first time, but in the heat of the moment, I didn't think to do so. So, we get some nice newspaper out. So if he poops in the box, the poop doesn't seep into the wood and ruin it. I want this box to last as long as possible because the material was a little bit expensive. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit more. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. Okay. Now what I want to do, start cleaning this cage. So we got a lot of poop. Let's get all... Oh, it's nice and moist. He went all over the place. There we go. Get all this nasty stuff out. It's kind of like cookies and cream ice cream.
Alright guys, the cage is all cleaned up. You want to come get a look at him? He's just nice and coiled up, trying to make himself comfortable. So I'm going to use this hook to pull part of his body out. There we go. Look at that snip. Beautiful. No, you can't eat the burn. Alright guys, perfect. If you come real close, you can see that he went straight into the box, which is what we wanted. So I guess shuffling this box around worked out. And now he's going to start using it. Nice clean cage, new scents from the mulch. Good stuff. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on another CWL. I'll see you on the next one.